Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back to uh, to day ten, day ten of twelve twelve, day ten of flower. Um, girls are looking great, absolutely fantastic. Uh, this week's been a little busy, just getting in here. Um, have been able to get in here every night, but not not too much. But have not filmed. Long story short, so we're jumping in here on day 10 a few days into week two um, but man looking just just absolutely perfect and we're just starting to a little bit behind on some flower I mean honestly would like to see them just a touch more into flower but we're just starting to see you know pre flowers really throwing out uh, some pistols there and some crowns starting to form but really just kind of stretching up through this first week no uh, major flower development so we'll see um, definitely by the end of the week should see it and then uh you know come the late teens mid to late teens we'll have some nice nice puffy top uh top buds going hopefully but good progress i think uh, should be a nice little flash flash visual for you guys if you weren't uh if you go from last week to this week <sighs> obviously the undercarriage is uh, is pretty savage down there right now um but on top of that trellis net so where we flipped from up beautiful amount of growth real nice even canopy um, did our last little tuck and weaves and then now we're just uh, we're gonna be guiding these up through and uh, I almost honestly wasn't even gonna get in here again and film but I need to put uh, I need to put another layer of trellis net down as you can see girls are right where I want them about almost a foot foot above the first one I like my trellis net right around like 10 inch separation always uh, always as well but uh, 12 inches is going to be so I'll drop it down get some get some top colas just peeking through but uh, be a good layer point and then through the next week it's going to be a good stretch but we have some uh, we do have some height left on the uh, on the stakes here I think we're going to get to at least here maybe just a touch above maybe where the lights are right now um, we'll get to there and probably uh, probably cap out so um, let me lay the trellis net down and uh, get you guys back in here and then we'll get in later in the week. All right. Okay, literally just uh, just dropped it down. So gonna have uh, a little bit of placement to go on over the next day or two here. Just figure out where we want. Like, what does this one need to should go here? That one should go over there. Um, so a little bit of, a little bit of uh, cola placement here, management. Uh, but looks pretty good just dropping it right on top is a good good time to pull one down so nice sandwich meat here uh, basically from trellis first trellis net up should be all usable nug we got plenty of light to support a canopy like that and oh my goodness man it is just uh it's a canopy it's it's a good one it's even it's thick it's lush it's green it's healthy gonna be a good one uh, anyway we'll check back in a couple days uh, like I said day 10 today we'll probably jump in here right on day 14 show you guys some progress but uh, it'll be two seconds but you'll see it all right well 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 uh, day 14 so I think last time we were in here day 10 um, they were just getting along, just starting to look like they were getting into flower, uh, peeking up through the net a little bit. We, I think maybe we even just threw the trellis net down. Anyway, four days later, day 14 here, and what a different story, man. And I keep, I, probably in this update, I've said it even earlier on, I'll check. But, uh, oh, they're probably only going to get up to about the top of there, right? Where my last trellis net would be. Not too much more. And, eh, it, hopefully, it's pretty close, but, uh, I definitely would say overall there, there's some that are already over that level and uh, a few more that'll it won't take too much longer so I think it's about probably gonna about max me out comfortably without pushing me to points where plants have to be in crazy intensity but uh, also bud set came on very quickly once we uh, actually nothing really happened just the last four days compared to I think day 10 I was complaining about or something um, but looking great the three grow off plants untopped was a good choice and we're gonna prop them up um, 
They got nice roots. But uh, we're gonna problem. I'm probably just gonna put some two gallon hard pots that I have that I think will just about level them out with these girls. Uh, get them a little bit better light and just uh, just be a better situation for them. Um, but overall, pretty nice, pretty healthy. I'm honestly not too impressed with what I've seen online from other growers from it, but whatever. We'll see what it is. Uh, but the Pi Ho man. Whew. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I mean, they have the numbers to do it. They have the veg. Good, clean clones. Everything's right on point. Um... So one thing I am adding, or added, it's kind of an interesting test, but I showed it off on Instagram, so I want to at least show it to you guys on YouTube. Uh, but it's called Intralight. And essentially what it is, is a UVC, so UVC, ultraviolet uh, C, very low nanometer, um, 275 to be specific, if you really want to know, 275 nanometer UVC. It's a ring with 20 mid-power diodes on it. And from what I calculate, puts out probably around 140, 150 milliwatts of, uh, of UVC light. And is used for uh, pests and pathogens, but is really marketed towards pests. And that's why it's kind of under the canopy here. It's shooting up and uh, it's on, they say, for one minute. During the middle of the dark cycle is how to do it. It won't interrupt any of your photo periods or anything. Um, I'm... I think they do that to guarantee no one's in here because no one can be in here when it's on. So I am never in here at the end of my photo period. So, um, I put it on actually at the last five minutes. You can see I got one more over here. So I'm putting it on, not the last five minutes, but I'm actually putting it on for five minutes in the last like two hours of my photo period. And, uh, We'll see how it does. These plants are clean. I can't imagine. So it's more of just a preventative for me, but I think I'm actually going to bring one into the veg tent and maybe do some things. I, I don't know. It's, it's interesting, but um, it's an interesting little technology as far as you using UVC for pathogens. And it's interesting. Like I have it, you got to go on my, go on my Instagram, check out the live feed I did. I break this open. This is potted. So it's completely waterproof inside fully silicone. These are glass and uh, sealed. Um, it has to be glass for the UVC to come through it. Uh, so it's all sealed, it's all waterproof, and it's built for certain systems, and I'm using it the way I am. Um, but it's very interesting. It's, it's uh, you know me, I'm an LED nerd, so it's, it's interesting, and I've, I'm gonna talk with them, see if we can get it to be, get improved a little bit from what I've seen, and a few things. But um, overall, cool tech, and I wanted to run it in the garden. So just a heads up on that, but I think I did a, I did a much better overall run through on uh, on IG so uh, go check it out there but like I said that's gonna be preventative because the girls are they're, they're pretty they're pretty right on point if I do say so myself um, luckily we're kind of getting into the cooler season so I'm able to keep temperatures uh, you know on the lower side of good I mean we'll go over the board I'm still in the 82 range I'm able to hold that pretty much night and day if I want but I am bringing it down to about 78 at night uh, but you're in the dark, it's not night, but in the dark and then able to hold my, my light time temperatures really stable at 80, 82, 83 without too much. Um, I don't use AC at all. This is all fresh air intake. So, um, it's nice when I have a little bit more control with, because of what I'm bringing in. Um, so happy with the girls where they are day 14, just the last bit of the week. Um, so let's go to the board. All right, hope you can see that. But environment has not changed whatsoever. Uh, 82 on temp Fahrenheit, 6570, no CO2 addition. PPFD is around 900. That may have changed since last time we talked. Not quite sure. It's around 900, and I lifted the lights to get it on that. Um, have a new PAR meter on the way to double check some numbers because I'm, I'm just curious, and it's time. Um, and then wanted to do that. I'm running 75 watts, so that's or 75%, which is about 60. Or excuse me, come on, Gene. 75% of 800 is 600 watts. Um, so that's how we're doing it. Honestly, I haven't actually checked to make sure it's running that, but with the PPFD I'm getting, and what I did see when I did the manual um, dimmer test, should be pretty accurate. Within you know, it's probably like 610 or 595. It's you know, it's got to be right there. 
Um, nutrient wise, this is everyone's asking. Why are you? Oh, this is exactly what I'm running. Nothing more, nothing less. And these are actually the exact weights I'm running at this point. Um, I'm running four grams of Jax Part A, and I'm running four grams of calcium nitrate, classic calcium nitrate, not pure cal, um, classic calcium nitrate per gallon. So four to two, no additional. And then I'm hand watering in Tribus once a week at two milliliters per gallon, but I've been a little bit heavy on it and doing less watering because I'm doing it by hand. I'm doing less, less addition, but kind of concentrated. I don't know. It's an interesting concept. I'm, I'm probably going to end up just putting it in my reservoir because I've never had issues and I, and I just think that's the way to go. Um, pH is about six, six, three plus or minus. I adjust it down into the fives, but it pops up and floats at around six, three. Um, and at day eight, I was running at 2.3 EC because I was a little worried my media EC was a little low. So bumped it up to 2.3, which is a little bit more than those exact. Um, and then at day 12, went right back to those exact because I got to where I wanted. It started stacking as well too. So started stacking, um, got my media EC to where I wanted. And now I want to make sure I taper that down. So I've uh, lowered or made sure the EC is normal at 1.9-ish. And then uh, also when we get to actual watering, adding a little bit more uh, more runoff in there so I can uh, I can keep that. So if we move from nutrient EC, nutrient pH, all that kind of stuff to medium, so actually what's going on what's going on in in my pot. Um, we have a we had a nutrient medium EC of around two to two point three to start. And I wanted to get that up north of three, three and a half to four, and we got up to four pretty quickly. Um, and then once we got to four, I think earlier in the week we were at about 54, 55% is what my max water content uh, percent was. Raising that to 60, might even get to 62 because that would give us just a little bit more runoff um, and be able to hold this EC right at four. I love, right, I honestly love right where it's at. And uh, this is kind of a visual of what the, uh, the watering cycle looks like. So we got about 55 or 60 percent water content percent. So that's the water content percent of how much it actually holds. Cocoa maxes out around 60 before it really starts just letting it go. Um, so we kind of, I really would start here, but from the day before, it's cruising, cruising, cruising down. Lights turn on and then it really dives down because it's not just evaporating, but you actually have the plants transpiring. So we have a point where we go there and then we want a little bit extra. So about 5% from there. And then we start stepping it up and that's about uh, 3% shots every 15 minutes to get to where we want at 60%. And then once it's at 60%, we tell it to maintain that from basically till about two hours before lights on or three hours before li or lights off, excuse me. So from there, we have a maintenance value. So that might be 3%, that might be 5%. This one is showing five. So we go from 60 to 55, boom, we water it again. 60 to 55, boom, we water it again. And then overnight, it falls back and would loop all the way back to here and we start that whole process over. So that's my watering cycle. So it's getting hit a bunch of times a little, hits runoff point and then gets watered through two times there. I think we're up to three times right now. Um, and that's what's going on. And it's doing that with this feed every time. So if this EC, this media EC starts to get a little high, there's a couple ways we would you know, combat that. We either get more waterings or more water content value so we get more runoff, or we can just lower the EC of our input a little bit. So those are our two ways to do it. Um, and that's how we got here, day 14. And as the plants, it's all done by sensor. So if the plants dry out quicker, they get watered quicker. If they need more of those maintenance shots at the top, they get more of the maintenance shots. It's all done by the sensor value. And granted, there's only one sensor in here and it's a pretty good representation of the whole garden, but I'd like to get one or two more, one for sure. Um, anyway, it's all done by that. So if it doesn't, if they don't dry out fast enough, it'll wait. If they dry out quick enough, it'll make sure they get something. If they're going dry, super dry in the dark hour, it'll give them a safety shot basically and, and keep shit in check. So it's pretty, pretty solid. And that's, that's what the grow link's doing. And then we're using all the Netafim stuff to, uh, to do it. So I thought, oh, hope that's worth it. Um, but really happy with the garden guys. Whew. Oh, and also, also, also before I go, cause that's really the last I have to say about the garden is dudes and like eight girls, um, 
we hit 100k believe it or not after all these years we just hit 100k subs so i am uh i was stoked i hit it they hit it this morning actually it rolled over i saw it at like um 99,998 and then like i looked away and i came back and it was at uh 100,001 um but anyway super sick i'm super pumped uh you know they shut the first channel down so it's crazy to think it actually got got to hear from from where it is and uh, anyway i think everyone who's watching this everyone who's subbed uh, if you're not subbed what the hell are you doing join the club um but very very cool so I, i'm not a huge like i don't need to get into any milestones but like once i started getting close to this i was like wow that would be kind of cool and uh, anyway it happened so hell yeah we did it um you guys did it I, i'm just showing some shit you guys are the ones who are, who are subbing and making that thing happen um so thank you guys very very much very cool Anyway, that's all I got. So this garden's going to keep rolling. I'll get you guys updated next week. Uh, I should be able to get in here a couple times. You know, it won't be every day like it was the first week, but kind of like this week. And we'll see some progress next week. Trellis are really right after I talk to you. Trellis number three is going down before I run out of room. And that'll give these girls... It's kind of going to kill the look. I'm, I'm not super stoked about doing it because... Oh, it'll kill the look. They're going to be so good. Like, this little just field of colas is going to look so good without a trellis. So maybe I won't put a third layer down. if they're if, But, like, if they're here, fine. If this is where they stay, fine. But that's what I said last time, and Ohm's cut just fucking bit me so hard. Um, so we'll see. I'm, it'll look so... Won't it? Just this little field of coal. Oh. Anyway, thank you, guys. So, uh like like this video if you want to push it along uh more importantly subscribe if you're not subscribed and either way as you know i will see you guys next week peace Green.